Professor Zahara. Welcome, ma'am, and thank you so much for uh, coming to India. I would like to ask you that uh, what are the challenges, or the same question, and the opportunities you think India has uh, from your country, country's perspective? Why I'm asking this question? Because our Prime Minister always say that we are going to be a developed nation. And every time in his public speech at the national as well as the international platforms, he has been saying the same thing, that we will be developed by 2047. So what do you think when we talk about the textile summit? Okay. Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, should say a special thanks to the organizer team. And uh, allow me to introduce myself. Zahra Ali Mohammadi is the general manager and owner of uh, Nick Kushish Ansar Trading Company, registered in Chabahar Free Zone in Iran. And we have involved joint venture with uh, Indian company Ansar and Sons, registered in Mumbai. And we have a lot of experience in uh, trading different items, general trading. and. Uh, Regarding textile, I have been in this business uh, more than 10 years. And I have done uh, so much uh, business with Turkey and so many Turkish companies, they know us because we have been responsible for organizing B2B meetings uh, for Turkish companies in Iran. And also we have invited Turkish companies to Iran to be, uh, uh, have a meeting with uh, Iranian buyers. We were organizing buyer-seller meets in Iran and also vice versa in Turkey. We were inviting Iranian buyers to uh, Turkey. Uh, I should mention that we have a very good relationship uh, with uh, Turkey and China for textile, but unfortunately in between we see uh, there is a very big gap that is India, although that Indian products are very uh, qualified and uh, the design is very tasteful and uh, it's acceptable in Iran market, but we uh, don't see uh, these products in our market available. This is a problem and the, the biggest challenge that we are mentioning here is that why your product are not available in Iran, although Iran is one of the most important hubs in uh, Middle East area. You know that Iran is the biggest population in, Iran, uh, in uh, Middle East and also the uh, ancient country in this area, but uh, definitely the market is so much huge for your manufacturers. And the main point is uh, why just uh, Turkey and China, and so in some cases UAE, that UAE we know that is not the main producer, actually is uh, importing from China or uh, in some cases from India, and they are importing, uh, after importing to UAE, they are uh, switch bill to Iran. But why it happens such a thing that you are not directly coming to this huge market, that this is a big question. Definitely, That's yes, it's a huge market, and especially when we talk about the number of youth, and India has the largest number of youth uh, in the country. Uh, this is also uh, one point, and uh, the reason is, Iran market, I don't know how much you are familiar with Iran country. Iran is a very ancient country with a very, uh, somehow, uh, p uh, luxury uh, people that they are uh, living in very... Um, and luxury is houses and they believe this and they believe that home should be sweet home. And so that's why that, uh, they are um, taking care of the environment that they are living, you know. And, uh, but regarding this issue, we see that um, um, the potential just has remained and uh, none of the Indian producers are using this potential. This is, this is a big question that if you can have your prestigious products in this huge market, why uh, is not coming? And we believe that uh, no barrier can be such as sanction or payment or currency or differences in currencies can be the main reason that you cannot enter to this area. Because we believe that uh, Iran has some uh, potential areas uh, such as Chabahar Free Zone that my company, my trading company has been registered in that area. And we believe that in that area because most of people are uh, Baluch people, that they are very uh, trusty people and they can talk Indian. And so uh, uh, Indian manufacturers 
uh, we recommend to come and see the potential and uh, set up their uh, factories uh, in there. And uh, instead of uh, having Silk Road, this is my recommendation that why we are thinking about Central Asia, why we are not thinking about uh, the big hub uh, such as Chabahar port to invest there and uh, set up the uh, manufacturing units and uh, import, export, sorry, export to different countries such as Russia, CIS countries, Iraq, Afghanistan, even Pakistan, thanks to your relationship that from that side can be more easier and in Gulf countries and uh, even maybe Turkey and Europe countries from Iran. So uh, this is our recommendation that you can develop and you were talking about developing. So we feel that one of the ways can be this and workers are One of the ways can be this and I think uh, with the joint initiative because the, you appreciated that the products of India are qualified. That India is very qualified. Yes. Yeah, they are and qualified. very unique design. Yeah, and I'm glad uh, to listen to this and I, I hope uh, that with the joint initiative of companies like Heva and also uh, with the media organization like Bharat24, people in India and in Libya can see that, yeah, the products are qualified and the communication should be made so that we can go ahead uh, for the further things. Mr. Vikas, over to you. This is very good session like uh, Ms. Olga and Ms. Jehra has indicated that our products are very good, our quality is very good. Why China and Turkey are good, doing very good, uh, why India not, why India cannot? So I think that what they have suggested is their banking system we need to work so that we can improve our uh, visibility in their market because market is very big. We have very good opportunity. Indian exporter can explore because if they are importing, if Libya is importing, for example, more than $100 million goods from China, why they are importing goods uh, only uh, $4 million from India? So this is very, very big uh, feedback and industry suggestions what they have suggested, we have received. And, and we should work together so that our, our percentage of uh, market share can increase in their market. For these words, I, I would I'd like to thank all the three uh, guests for uh, just join, joining this uh, wonderful session and getting so much of uh, deeper market knowledge and challenges and opportunities in their country. Thank you. Okay.